So let's make our first plant symbol. For this plant symbol, we are going to use a meteor cherry, Prunicerasus, Cerasus, meteor. We're not going to use a meteor in the name uh, for the scientific name, but meteor cherry. We know that it's 12 feet tall, 10 feet wide, and deciduous tree. So we're going to make a symbol for that in Illustrator. So I'm going to click on these two cells and just copy that very quickly to my clipboard. Go over to Illustrator and use the ellipse tool and I'm going to click once oops excuse me double click there here we go and now we have the width and height tool to do that we want to be exacting when we do it we're working at 20 scale 1 inch equals 20 feet this is a 10 foot wide tree so it's going to be half inch on each dimension and click OK now we have a basically a black circle uh, standing for our our tree at this time. Um, what we can do is we can switch that so now we actually have the stroke being black and the inside being blank. We want to fill the inside that's in front here so we're going to go to our foliage and this is in our color palette that we can find in Illustrator and so I like using foliage because it gives us a lot of different greens to pull from. And I'm going to pull a, a dark green for that. So I have a black stroke with dark green on the inside. And then go to appearance. And because I want my tree to be transparent, I'm going to change my opacity to about 20 between, oh, usually between 20 and 30 percent. We'll go 25 percent right now. So click off of that. And now we have our circle. That's our symbol. Black stroke on the outside, green transparent on the inside. Right now it's about 25%. And uh, we know that the meteor cherry, Prunus cerasus, is PC. We are going to use the initials as the ID for this plant. And we're going to use the text tool and just type in PC and then drag that into. Using the command key on the keyboard, we can change that text tool or any other tool always back to the arrow so we can drag things around. So we're going to put a PC in there. That's our second step. So we have our circle, we have our identifier, and then we're going to want to show that this is a new plant. And so we do again is use the text tool, click that down and make a period and put that period in the center of the tree. Here we can see just slightly off, right? Here we go. So now we have our um, identifier. We have the center of a tree. Now this was a an existing tree. We would use a plus sign, and you would put the plus sign down in the middle of that. If you're marking trees that already exist on the property, use a plus sign in the middle. This is a new tree, so we're going to use uh, a period or a dot in the center. That's our first symbol. Now I use the selection tool, which is the black one. Select everything, and over here is my symbols. This is the beginning of my symbol library. I'm going to drag this whole thing over here. Oops, I have to go new. I'm making a new symbol. There we go. Um, the first one, the rest of them you can drag on there, but now we're making a new symbol, and it wants me to name it. So I know that this is a 12 foot high tall tree and I always put the height in the front because I'm going to order these by height in my symbol library when we order them by name. It's a cherry comma meteor. Oops, misspelled that. Now remember how I copied that from Excel? I can right now just go in here, control V and paste it in. So I have meteor cherry Prunus, Cerasus. Now what I like to do also is use brackets for these. And I don't need to have Meteor in here again. So now I have 12 Meteor Cherry, Prunus, Cerasus. You can change this to a graphic if you like. It doesn't really matter. And there's our first symbol. So we've made a symbol for our symbol library. And we can save this file, save it as your symbol library, anything you want to call it. You can
can save it and you will always have this ready to go at 20 scale to drag off on any of your artwork you can drag it like this or you can use the option command key and drag it within the artwork and double it that way too you can also grab a bunch of them and do the same thing and you can make multiple ones on the screen that's how you make a symbol